There's been a lot of discussion around Common Core, and as my colleague just pointed out, there's been a lot of time to discuss that of late. And um, I, I just want to kind of start off with a discussion over exactly what we're talking about in regards to Common Core standards, and uh, because I think it's illustrative of where the key concerns are for folks like myself when it comes to the adoption of these standards. Um, when you start talking about an education system, an education system is actually a kind of a layered cake model where you've got education standards up at the top, you've got an assessment tool that verifies whether or not you're uh, complying with those standards at the next tier, and then that hands off to what's, uh, what happens at the local school district level, which is curriculum development and also uh, the course materials and the, um, and the lesson plans developed by our teachers. Um, at stake here, and I've heard a lot of uh, discussions, a lot of people talking about the fact that they, they make the claim that uh, Common Core standards are actually a higher quality standard. And um, I follow that statement up with the standard question of, well, can you demonstrate that it's going to improve student performance? Because we need to make sure that we're focused on the end game here, which is improved student performance. And when I've asked that, I was referred to a report that said that this is what validates the fact that this is higher student performance. And in that report, it says, and I quote, Unfortunately, determining the relationship between these new standards and achievement will take several years. This is from the author of the po person who's a, uh, or of a report by a person that was stating that this was something that was going to improve our student achievement. In other words, despite the push for increased accountability, we will now have an accountability vacation of, quote unquote, several years. Furthermore, the failure to restrict Michigan Department of Ed dollars to the um, Michigan to uh, developing a Michigan controlled assessment tool opens this um, opens the door to uh, some controversial uh, to the controversial deployment of some uh, of kits essentially to help local school districts um, a better align with Common Core and that's uh, where a lot of the problems are in regards to Common Core frankly deal with some of the centralized uh, district helpers if you will that are coming out of the Common Core Standards Initiative. Some of these course materials that are coming out in particular are, uh, can, can be described more as indoctrination as opposed to education. Now to be clear, these materials ha are, are generally um, depicted as recommended materials. They're not, they're not required for the school districts at all. But they do make it easier for the school districts to go off and deploy these materials. Now I want to give a couple examples of some of these materials that people in my district, my constituents, my friends have cited to me that give me pause in regards to making sure that we've got a firewall that protects our local school districts from this content. One third grade reading text teaches kids, it's a textbook that teaches kids under the guise of rights and responsibility training how to protest. Another textbook talks about and frames the Second Amendment as the uh, People that are in a state militia have the right to bear arms. Other suggested reading materials that can find, be found in the appendix of some of the deployment materials for Common Core refer to um, textbooks such as the Blue SI that have pornographic content. I bring these to my colleagues' attention because uh, to, I want to reflect upon a quote from Abraham Lincoln. He said that the philosophy of education in one generation will be the philosophy of government in the next generation. And when I see some of these points that are going into this course material here, I fear for my next generation of, governor, of government. Now to be sure, Common Core is not a federal standard, as some has claimed, but it is a national standard. And it's a national standard that will be increasingly referenced by our federal government as a tool to influence state education policies. Like so many other programs coming out of DC today, unfortunately I believe that Common Core is more seen as a tool for control than about true reform. To get true educational excellence, what we need is accountability, not less accountability, more accountability. What we need is local control, more local control, not less local control. And what we need is school choice and good teachers to staff those schools with our kids.